So, I see so yeah, this this so-called slowdown. Uh, it's really not clear that that ever really existed. Um, so I think you have to think a little bit in terms of the different time scales. If you think about the longest time scales, you know, multiple decades, uh, there's no evidence for a change in the underlying trend. Uh, if you look at shorter time scales, then yeah, there's time scales where it's going down, time scales where it's going up, um, and there's variation because of things like El Nino, because of things like the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. Uh, it's not at all obvious that uh, the, what we saw from the peak El Nino in 1997, 98, uh, to the really deep uh, La Nina in 2011, uh, you know, whether that, you know, you can explain almost all of that uh, with just um, understanding what ENSO does, understanding what the short-term uh, forcings has been doing, things like volcanoes, things like uh, the solar variations, things like variations in the amount of aerosols coming from China versus the US. Uh, and I don't think that there's really anything left there to, uh, to be explained. There's nothing really anomalous there. So what you're seeing here, 2014 was a, was a classic example. If you, were going, if you go back to 1997 and you said, Okay, well, if I just take the linear trend and uh, I make a prediction for what 2014 would be, uh, you'd have got it exactly right. So, uh, you know, the evidence that there was a change in trend in, in the meantime is, is very slim. And now 2014 was a record year, 2015, as we said, was likely to be a record year. Given that the persistence of ENSO also carries over into the following year, 2016 is likely to be a very warm year as well. Uh, so, you know, what you're seeing is, is basically just a clearer uh, acknowledgement that the underlying trend really hadn't changed that entire time.